What's up, Misunderstood Podcast? So, it's just me today, Brandy. So, we're going to do a little story time and let's get into it. So, y'all know I work at McDonald's and the other day, it was like, I I, I work like 2 to 10. So, um... I clock out about like three minutes after, so like 10.03, and usually the night shift before they clean up and everything, they go outside and, you know, take a smoke break, because a lot of people there smoke cigarettes and stuff, whatever. So, but other than that, they just really take a break before they, they, before they get started on cleaning. I never stay that long, because it's like, they get off at like, 12 sometimes they say they stay there till one or two but anyways that's besides the point so we were standing outside you know just chilling with them sometimes i you know stand there and i talk for a second but um we were just talking about a bunch of random stuff stuff we really shouldn't have been talking about you know I don't really remember exactly how it came about, but we were there. We were just talking about girl talk, and if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Girl talk, and at some point of us, you know, we were talking inappropriate and stuff, but we were all laughing and cutting up and giggling and all that stuff. That part wasn't the issue. The issue was somehow amongst all of that I was told by three people which one doesn't work at McDonald's anymore but she still comes up there and all that stuff anyways they said that they thought that I was a lesbian and meanwhile, before this night happened, a boy that works at our McDonald's, he said everybody in McDonald's that is a girl that works there looks like a dyke. And he even told me, you do look like a, a boy. Excuse me, I am a woman. I have the body parts. I am not a boy. And I was very, de- like... That kind of like upset me, but I didn't let it get to me. And the only reason why I am talking about it now is because I was kind of like saying whatever about him saying all the girls there look like a boy, like a dyke. And no offense to anybody that is a lesbian or a dyke. It's just, I don't want to be called something that I'm not. But anyways... So, you know, the next day I was like, I'm kind of offended that he caught us like, like we look like a boy and stuff. And, you know, and then it kind of just like that went away. But then the night that I'm talking about where we're all outside, you know, chilling, talking, why all of a sudden did it come out that from the first day that you started, we thought you were a lesbian And I was like, what? How? Why? I'm married. I'm going on three years and I'm married to a a man. And then, uh, and she's a manager. She was like, well, do you get it every night or all the time? And I'm like, that, I didn't say anything to it. I didn't respond to it. Like, that's inappropriate. You know, like you don't believe me that I'm with a man. You don't believe that I'm not a lesbian. And then one of the girls that um, she told me, you know, at the beginning of when I started at McDonald's, she she said, yeah, when I was a lesbian, I thought you were one too. And when I told her a day or two later, she was like, I don't remember saying that and trying to play the victim and starts crying and stuff. And I told my hiring manager and she um I guess she talked to them it didn't really seem like it worked because they prance around like they didn't do anything and like 
one of them tried to apologize and I give it to her but I was like you can't take back what y'all said and why even say something if y'all can't explain it and also why get mad about something y'all said y'all said it and you're gonna get mad about what y'all said I'm the one that's upset and should be mad not y'all and like making it all about her and as she's apologizing to me she still says it implies that I come off as a lesbian and I'm like you're sitting there saying you didn't mean to be rude but you're being rude you are rude and being in a public place working it doesn't matter where you're working you can't talk to people like that it's gonna offend people and it offended me and it's still offending me like to the point where I don't feel comfortable at my job um like every day I go in I feel like I'm being watched they're judging me they think I'm a lesbian and I'm a boy and I'm a dyke and I don't know how it is for people that really are and kudos for y'all standing up for yourself and everything but for people that are really not it's not fair that we get singled out and stuff like they're profiling and, and I don't like that and Again, with the whole night of them started talking about that, um, this girl don't even work there no more. And um, she was like, yeah, you gave off the vibes. And I'm over here trying to say how, like, explain it. How do they even act? I had to look up on Google, and the only things that, uh, that I read that I could think that I was doing or being like is... I'm confident um I don't try to be better than nobody but I am confident in myself a little bit but since they said what they said and everything I don't really feel confident in my own skin it's it's hard going out of the house thinking oh does anybody else think I look like a boy or a lesbian like I don't need to be thinking like that or putting myself down and also they couldn't explain themselves, so I had to look it up on Google. Have a supporting husband that you can tell him anything, and he would sit there and listen to you and hear you out and say, No, babe, you do not look like a boy, and I know you're not a lesbian. Have a supporting husband. And even if it's not a husband, have somebody supportive in your life because I really don't got that and I'm glad I got my sister and my husband but um, they couldn't even explain their so so it really kind of irritated me because like why are you talking about something you don't even know what you're talking about and you can't explain yourself and after I said, like, like, they were like, when I was a lesbian, I thought you were one too. And then the one that said I had the vibes was like, ah, laughing and stuff, saying, I was a lesbian and now I, I'm with a man and I got pregnant. Like, that don't look cute. That is not cute. And then also... Um, the manager that shouldn't be talking like this and meet I say they smoke and if you know you know and it ain't cigarettes it's the green and I'm not saying that to put anybody out there but I shouldn't even have been around it so it's like they they don't care and they'll talk about anything. And my manager was like, you should wear tighter pants. First of all, it's hot at McDonald's. I already have my clothes sticking to me as is. I want to have a big shirt and bigger pants because I'm a big girl and I don't want to be showing my flab. And plus, when I wear tight clothes, I don't feel comfortable. But they made me really feel uncomfortable when they were saying that. And... They also said it was a joke. 
and that if it offended me, I should have said something. They didn't intentionally try to hurt my feelings or hurt me, but they did. It's just like that one girl trying to apologize and said, well, you do come off that way, but sorry. Like, that's not really apologizing. That's still implying it. And then my manager not only said, do I need to wear tighter pants? I, y'all have seen me in my videos. I have my hair up in a ponytail and it braided down to the side because I have a lot of hair and it keeps it tame and down and put up. And she said, maybe it's the braid that makes you like a lesbian. We thought you were a lesbian since day one. And it's like, really hurt me because I'm like, y'all have been around me long enough and y'all are just not saying something about it. Like, y'all can't just be saying stuff like this. And I don't even feel comfortable in my own skin, let alone working at McDonald's anymore. Like, I am searching for another job, guys. Um, and plus, this is one of my jobs right here. No, I don't make money on YouTube, yes, but I hope to do that one day. Um, I went down to subscribers. I, I try not to let that get the best of me because I'm really trying to get to that 1,000 so I can get monetized. And no, you're not going to make a lot of money at first, but I want to start that next step in getting monetized. And today I was supposed to work 2 to 10. I wasn't even clocked in 30 minutes. It was like 2.28 or something when I clocked out. Because this guy ordered five pies and then I took another order. And needless to say, I put a lot of pies in the oven so that they were taking five pies and I wasn't honestly sure if they had them but I made sure that I put hurried up and put some in the oven and um, I could hear my manager the one that was saying I should wear tighter pants and maybe it's the braid this is the one that is keep causing issues she has done it not once but at least three times since I've been there yelling and then her clocking out and leaving but she was I was taking another order and I had to stop the order three times because she was interrupting because that's all I could hear and so I was almost done with the order and I just took the headset off because I heard her yelling at the kitchen saying, y'all need to listen to me and this and that. And I don't know what she was saying to the kitchen. But then she starts yelling, is there pies and all this stuff. And I'm like, I was trying to take an order. And, and she's telling me I'm not listening to her. First of all, why yell when you can easily walk back there, see if there's any in the oven, or tell me, hey, can you drop pies? We don't have any of those. I keep up with those pies. Nobody else does. I shouldn't have to be picking up slack that other people didn't do. I work my butt off at McDonald's, and I keep up with what I need to keep up with. They always shove me in the back cash, and then they scream at me to get cookies, to get pies. Do this, do that. Like, I'm not a slave. I am equal as all of them we're all equal and I said I'm not gonna deal with this I cashed out two orders and I clocked out and told my hiring manager and she says she apologizes and she'll talk to him I said ever since I told you that what they said calling me a, a lesbian and all that stuff they've been acting different towards me and it's like I'm, I'm searching for another job because I'm being harassed and bullied at the one that I've got and I don't feel comfortable there anymore and I had to leave not even 30 minutes into my shift you know I can't lose money because of other people pushing me out the door making me not want to work there why is all the crappy workers still working and they push all the good workers out the door because everybody wants to be on the same level and I'm not about to be on that level. I'm better than that. But I just want to do a little podcast and do a little story time with y'all because I'm having issues with my job and people harassing and bullying me. And then, don't be coming on my messenger messaging me about the situation saying that I should have said something 
when I don't need to say anything to them. I wasn't trying to make a big deal out of nothing, but they're making it a big deal out of nothing. The fact is, is you got in trouble and just say sorry for saying that and stuff. But they're saying it's a joke and I don't think it was a joke. And when situations happen, the girl, one of the girls that was in on it saying she wasn't, she always cries about everything and wants to tell everybody and then make me look bad. And, and I don't understand why every time I'm always the one being put in the drama. Like, why am I always the one being put in the drama? And I didn't want to come on here rampaging, but I feel like I can talk to y'all. I don't have a counselor or nothing like that. So I feel like I can talk to y'all as a family and people like me or my sister, which I asked her if she wanted to be in on it. She said, if it's just about you, then just do the video. So I said, okay. I mean, she could have said her little bit of opinion, but it's really about me because I'm working there. So I was like, all right, I'll just do the video. And I don't mind doing it by myself. Um, but I felt like I could talk to y'all and y'all, y'all listen. And that's why we, I always say this in every video almost, I think this is episode 12. Um, anyways, I, uh, I always say this, we, we named it misunderstood podcast because we've been misunderstood our whole life and I'm being misunderstood at this moment in time. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of me doing a little story time about me and my job and my struggles and kind of what I'm going through right now. It kind of hurts and... I try not to cry about it because it's not something to cry about, but I have issues with the way I look. Um, not necessarily my weight. I'm talking about like, it makes it put it in perspective. Like, do I really look like a boy? Um, and it's just not coming out. Like this is the first time that I have ever been told that that I was either a lesbian or I looked like a boy. And I don't like that. It really bothers me. And I don't need to let it bother me, but I'm trying to get through it. And today, it's just crazy how I ended up coming home and not even doing my shift, not even 30 minutes. And I came right back home. Um, I had a weird, weird, weird feeling going to work, driving there, so. I don't know what that's about, but I ended up coming home and thank y'all for listening. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because there'll be more videos of updates, stories, what we got going on. And I hope everybody had a good Father's Day um, celebrating with your family. Um, but we will, I will catch you on another Misunderstood Podcast.